Hi, I'm Dixie and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. I hope you will enjoy the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hi kids, welcome back to another story with Dixie and Dixie Storytime World. Zoe the zebra hurts her ankle. Hello, I'm Nurse Nibbles. This is my hospital garden and these are my get well friends. In my garden, I have lots of comfy chairs of all shapes and sizes which is a good job because poorly animals come to visit me from all over the world. I've looked after cows with coughs, rabbits with rashes, foxes with fevers, terrapins with temperatures and even herons with hiccups. The other day a new poorly patient came to see me. Her name is Zoe the Zebra and she was limping really badly. This is the story of how Zoe the zebra hurt her ankle. It was a beautiful day in Africa. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and all the zebras were peacefully eating their lunch, except Zoe. Watch out for lions, said Zoe, looking around anxiously. Lions have huge teeth, and if they catch us, they'll eat us. The other zebras sighed. There wasn't a lion to be seen anywhere. Watch out for leopards, whimpered Zoe. Leopards' claws are really sharp, especially if they grab you. Zoe, stop worrying, said the other zebras. There aren't any leopards around either. Then watch out for hyenas, shivered Zoe. Hyenas like zebras for lunch too. The hyenas are on a diet, Zoe, said the zebras. You don't have to worry about them. Watch out for bushes, squeaked Zoe. Bushes, exclaimed the zebras. Yes said Zoe with a shudder. Something could be hiding behind a bush. Something huge and scary with sharp teeth. The zebras began walking across the plains. There wasn't a bush to be seen. Zoe, we're perfectly safe, they said. Watch out for crocodiles, Zoe said, looking left. Watch out for the rhino, she wavered, looking right. Watch out for the vultures. She gulped, looking up. Whoa, crash and wallop! Watch out for the tortoise, laughed the zebras. Poor Zoe, she'd been so busy looking out for scary animals, she had tripped over a harmless little tortoise. What a silly zebra. No wonder she hurt her ankle so badly. Never mind, the good news is, once I had bandaged her ankle and bathed her stripes with warm water, she began to feel much better. Zoe got plenty of rest and sunshine in my wonderful garden, and after lots of fuss and attention, I am very pleased to tell you, Zoe, the poorly zebra, did get better in the end. Thank you for listening.